Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to make a quick video on, as you see there's a fail there, anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video on, uh, firearms, I might be doing a, a series on this, I don't know, but, I just wanted to talk quickly about different types of bullets and how bullets actually work. Well, the way bullets work is, you'll see a picture of a bullet, most of you probably know what a bullet is, but the way a bullet works is, when you pull the trigger on a gun, the firing pin is driven forward, whether that be by a hammer or a, a spring, does, that doesn't really matter here, but the firing pin is driven forward and strikes the primer now. A primer is a small cap of, uh, cap, the, the outside of it is typically made of, like, copper or so, a soft metal, and, um, when the firing pin hits it, 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 the primer contains a small amount of shock sensitive explosive, and when the primer, or the firing pin hits it, the, um, the explosive goes off, and with that, there's a little hole, there's like the uh, the primer pocket, and then there's a, uh, I believe it's called a flash hole, flash hole, and then the explosive fire, really, thing goes through that hole and ignites the powder, and when that powder ignites, it burns and creates a lot of pressure, which sends the bullet out of out of the gun. That's basically how it works. Now, the different there are lots of different types of bullets. Maybe or there's um. First of all, I'm gonna start with like calibers. There's I don't even I can't even uh. Remember the number, there's a bunch, there's a lot of different calibers, there's a lot of common calibers, and there's a lot that are not so common. I'm going to talk about more common calibers, like 22. 22 is probably, I believe, the, uh, the most abundant caliber on the planet. At least it was. It's really hard to find out the, uh, the gun scares and uh, ammo shortage and all that, but that is... It's 0.22 inches in diameter. That's what the 22 caliber stands for. And in uh, in metrics, in metrics, it's um 5.56 millimeters, which is what the uh, NATO uses as a denomination. Because we're pretty much the only country that uses inches and feet. The rest of the world uses uh. Uh, millimeters, meters, things like that metric system. Anyway, the 22 caliber, 22 long rifle is the one that I'm referring to here. Is uh, it's a it's a very small round. It's it's a rimfire round. Rimfire meaning that the primer that I was talking about, instead of there being like a primer pocket, the the primer is kind of around the edges in it. You'll see a picture of it up here on the screen, but um, it's a it's a very light recoil round. It's more for uh, practice shooting because it's extremely cheap. Or it was. Now it's not really that cheap. But anyway, now the next round that I'm going to be talking about is five five six, which is five point five six. I think five point five six millimeter NATO which is what we use in our main uh, weapon of choice, the uh, M16 or the M4. Uh, M4 is a variant of the M16. Anyway, it's 5.56, which is basically a big, uh, bigger 22. It's a centrifire, which is the one that does have the primer pocket. You see a picture of that. The one that people think are, think is evil and uh, Anyway, I'm not going to get into that in a different video. Um, that's also a 22 caliber, but it's it's much more powerful. Next round, next round I'm going to be talking about is the um, 7.62 by 39, which is 
the common, it's the AK-47 round. It's, that's the main round that, um, uh, what is it? People other than us, like, the Taliban use it, but uh, I can't think of any of There are a lot of good people that use it. It's an extremely reliable rifle, but 7.62 millimeters is a 30 caliber bullet, 0 .30 inches in diameter. But it's a, it's a much, it's a bigger round than the 5.56. I'm not, I'm not, I'm fuzzy on the ballistics of it, but there's a bunch of different variants of 7.62. There's 7.62 by. Uh, 39, 7.62 by 54, other ones I can't remember. Anyway, that's a very common gun. Very, it's a, um, it's an effective round, but anyway, next round would be the, um, 308. 308 is another 30 caliber round. It's, uh, it's bigger than, it's obviously, it's bigger than the, 556 five, and it's also Hard bigger than 7.62 not in uh, size but in, it's, it's got a bigger case which is the uh, 7.62 by 39 the buy and then the number after that is the size of the case and how much powder it can hold the Hard bigger the um, bigger the number the more powder I'll give an example of that but the 308 is a Common sniper round. It's used, it's used in the um, I believe it's used in the M14. And uh, then another round that's very very similar to that, 30 out six, which both of these are close to the 762 by 54, which is a, a Russian round. 30 out six is used in things like the BAR, the um. I believe the M1 Garand uses it, but you'll you'll be seeing pictures of like the 30R6, 308, and then the last major round I wanted to talk about is the 50 BMG, which is 0.5 inches in diameter, 0.50. It's it's a very large round compared to any of the other rounds I've AO. talked about. It's it's designed really, it was designed for the Browning machine gun, that's hence the BMG. Uh, it's designed, I believe, the uh, 1920s, I believe. I don't, I'm not quite sure on that. Uh, I'll leave an annotation or a thing up on the screen about it. But point contested. It was designed originally for a machine gun, with uh, a big machine gun. RCXD inbound. Fully automatic. But nowadays we use it in things like the M82A1 thing I got that right, which is in Call of Duty, which is the uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the uh, Barrett, the Barrett 50 cal. That's what that uses. Is that it's the 50 BMG? Hard point contested. Anyway, the next round contested. after that that I can remember off the top of my head is the. Uh, the 600 overkill. I don't. I don't received. really know In too bad. much about that about that round, but it's as the name implies, overkill. You could kill pretty much anything on walking on the earth with a 50 caliber round. Generally speaking, you can't like you can't take a 50 A and E, which I'll get into in a different video. I'll cover different rifle and pistol. Calibers, but 50 AE is 50 Action Express. It's used in the Desert Eagle and probably some other gun I can't remember. But that's that is well, it is a 50 caliber. It's not nearly as powerful as the 50 BMG. And the 600 overkill is bigger than that. It's 0.60 uh, inches in diameter. And the biggest center fire round, where center fire has the primer pocket, you'll see it's got, uh, rem fire has hits on the rem, uh, center fire hits a little primer. Uh, the biggest center fire round ever created is the 950 JDJ, 
0.95 inches in diameter. That's almost an inch in diameter. The case that it uses is a 20 millimeter case, which is an anti tank uh, case. It's it's absolutely it's it's not used for anything practical at all. But anyway, that's basically I've kind of screwed this up on rambling a lot, but that's basically how a bullet works in the basics of different calibers. Now I'll get into uh, into another video. I'll get into different facts and ballistics and muzzle velocities and all that of different rifle and pistol rounds but that's pretty much all for today anyway if you um if you liked the video please leave a like if you really like this video leave a favorite and if you want to see more remember to subscribe anyways have a nice day